Hey everybody, Smouse is back in the house with another video. Um, this is an item I picked up while doing yard sales, I don't know, about seven years ago. Um, at the time I wasn't big on coin collecting. Uh, I had collected a little bit in the past. Uh, obviously I'm into coin collecting now again uh, this past two years. Uh, but I saw some things at this uh, yard sale, was taking a look at them, and decided to pick this one up and did not know a lot about coins. So I thought, I have it upside down, this may be silver, because it does look like a proof set. Uh, it was 1964, and I knew enough to know that around that time is still, in a lot of places, silver. Um, sadly, this is all copper nickel, but I did learn something new. Um, these coins are from Southern Rhodesia, uh, which is also now known as Zimbabwe. This is a mint proof set, which only has a mintage of 2060 ever made. So the coins themselves are not worth a lot, but as a set in this case, um, I've seen them in the past, there's none currently on or recently have sold on eBay, but normally they go for around $80 as a set, which I only paid $5 for. <laughs> So I was going to go through this because this set's pretty interesting. It is the year Zimbabwe decided to claim their own independence from Britain. And they minted these coins. And we'll do a close-up of the front. They're all the same on the front. Queen Elizabeth II. But on the back, it's really neat. Because you'll notice here, this is actually two shillings and six pence. But they also put 25 cents on it, so it's dual denomination. So I'll go through each one with you real quick. And we'll turn it the right way so it looks right. This is a six pence. And it has a flare lily on it. And it is the five cent denomination as well. One shilling or ten cents has Rhodesia's coat of arms on it. And all I found on this is they call it the Zimbabwe bird. So I don't know if it's just a symbol or if it's actually a real bird. But this one is two shillings or 20 cents. And this is the sable antelope. Two shillings, six pence, or 25 cents, as we said earlier. So I ended up having a good pickup there. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there are some dark spots right where the coin was sitting. But as I move the coin, you see the dark spot stays in the same place. Went out of focus. So it's not on the coins, but I had read some things. People were concerned about the type of plastic this thing's in. And my plastic's starting to get a little brittle. I think it might even cracked a little bit right here. But I'm afraid to take them out of it because the only reason why the set's worth money is because it's a set. <laughs> um, so you, you know, so I'm not sure what else to do with it. But it comes in this little case. Like I said, I was just yard sailing. I had a couple coins. I've always been attracted to foreign coins. And like I said, I saw that they said 1964. So I was like, for five bucks, I can't really lose a whole lot. I get a cool set of coins I don't own with some cool, you know, foreign, you know, images, coat of arms and some different animals on it. So I can't really get mad at that. And it was five bucks. I was like, yeah, I can't lose a lot for five bucks. And then when I got home, I did the research on it and found out it's a very limited uh, proof set. And also a time in history where they were claiming their independence. And these were all minted in South Africa. Um, they minted their own coinage, but they were trying to gain their independence from Britain um, at the time. So... 
a little bit of history, a couple cool coins. Hope everybody's having a good weekend, and I'll catch you next time.